North America is set to witness a celestial phenomena. It is going to witness a total solar eclipse, also known as totality. And well, to talk more on this, we're now being joined by Dr. Amitabh Ghosh. He is a scientist from NASA and, was, and has been working on uh, Mars since 1997. Thank you so much for joining us here on Beyond, Dr. Ghosh. I want to first start by asking you that for a layman, if you can just explain what exactly is a solar eclipse and perhaps why does it occur? So it's nothing, you know, you know, the moon goes around the earth. Um, and so at some point, um, the moon um, hides, it, it passes in front of the sun and it blocks the view of the sun. So, so at some point, um, the sun's rays cannot come to at some location of Earth, and that's where you have the total eclipse. So this is a normal celestial mechanics phenomena, and it happens once if once in a few years. Um, and so, so you know, if, if you recall, I mean, perhaps this, some schools have done this. You can have a flashlight, um, mm. which is a, and then you have an obstacle like a small ball and then another ball which is the earth so um so it's simply um the rays of the sun are not able to come to earth because the moon is blocking the, block, blocking the rays right dr Ghosh. so the last time a total solar eclipse occurred in the us was in 2017 and it's happening now in just uh, a few days uh, talk to us as to why and how is it so different this time around so it is not different. It's just that, you know, the solar eclipses happen once in so many years. Mm. Um, so it's nothing different. But of course, um, there's a huge amount of enthusiasm mm. um, wherever it happens. You know, when I saw my first, first eclipse when I was eight years old in India, and there was a huge, there was a huge experience. You know, it's like the uh, during the day, suddenly everything will become dark. Um, and then after a while, the darkness will go away. So it's um, almost a magical phenomenon that how this, how can this happen in the middle of the day? So, so there's nothing special, but the enthusiasm people are driving from all over to be on that line of totality. So, so where I live, it's uh, it's not total. So people are um, still going to watch it, but it's probably the enthusiasm is still but but there are people who are um on that line the airbnbs and the hotels right. are on hold and then there are many people on the interstate they're going to drive to that destination so there is a huge amount of enthusiasm Right. Uh, what are some of your advices for the sky watchers there in North America? Because like you mentioned, everybody is just flocking uh, to see the total okay. solar eclipse now. Uh, because according to reports and also various studies, you should not watch the total solar eclipse with your naked eye. Right. You should not um, see the sun. Um, and there are glasses available and they're available everywhere. I, I think uh, Smithsonian gives... Uh, Mm. them for free some of the nasa visitor centers give it for free and then of course amazon sells it so you should not um look at the sun so um but otherwise i think if you're not looking at the sun it's fine um so there are some people who are going to be driving during that mm. time so so i think it's all good and it's a uh it, it's a it's a absolutely li like a uh excursion and you know, people go to see the launches yeah. like this in Florida. So it's like a very celebratory environment. Mm -hmm. And and if you think about it, you know, we don't think of astronomy and the stars. So so if you think about it, we live on this tiny planet, mm -hmm. in the universe called Earth. So this is one opportunity to look up right. and see the sun, which is about 100 million miles away, and um, uh, see the solar corona, which is like a million... Mm -hmm. Uh, centigrade, million degree centigrade, and that's um, the, the, which is the atmosphere of the sun. Um, so it's fascinating in a way. It um, makes you look up and appreciate um, our place in, in this right. solar system. Right, Dr. Ghosh, but unfortunately, Indians will not be able to see this, uh, rather experience this once-in-a-lifetime celestial phenomenon. Talk to us as to why um, Indians cannot watch the solar eclipse from India. 
See, it is, um, it is nothing. It's just to do with the celestial dynamics. So, so when the, so, so the moon is coming in between the mm. earth and the sun, right? So whichever part is there, say, say this is the earth and it's rotating. Mm. So unfortunately, one part will face the sun. So you can see it and the other part will face away from the sun. So if I'm correct, I think the eclipse time is around 1 p.m. Eastern U.S. time, mm. which is, I think, um, around 10.30 p.m. here at night. Mm. So India will be facing away from the sun at that time when the moon is between the earth mm. and the sun. So so it's just, I, I'm sure in, there's going to be another Hmm. another event like this where the where india will face towards the um, the sun so so at, at which point north america will not be able to see the total eclipse and india will be so right. Right, Dr. Ghosh, my last question to you. What are some of the scientific learnings uh, from uh, the upcoming total solar eclipse that we all uh, can perhaps learn from? Right. So um, the scientific learnings are um, you can find out more about the corona or the atmosphere of the sun. Um, and then you can find out about the changes in the atmosphere. So the atmosphere suddenly stops heating for a while because you don't have solar rays coming in. And so that causes differences in density, etc. So that is something also we study. And mm -hmm. one of the fascinating things is that anybody can do study. For example, for the Webb, James Webb Telescope or the Hubble Space, Space Telescope, mm -hmm. you need to have permission to be on the team. For other telescopes, like the telescopes in Hawaii, you have to go there in person. Mm -hmm. So here, anybody you can ask with, with a curiosity and maybe a binocular telescope mm -hmm. can see this and experience this, experience the wonder. Right. Are you excited for the total solar eclipse, also known as totality? Yes, absolutely. You know, everybody in my area is thinking about it. Mm. My son, my daughter, their friends, and they've reached out about for the glasses, the solar eclipse glasses. So it's like a, um, so there's my, for example, all the schools in the area are going to, um, probably people will step out and mm. see this or they leave school um, before the school ends. So there is a festive atmosphere. So uh, everybody is looking forward to it uh, tomorrow. Right. Thank you so much, Dr. Ghosh, for taking our time and joining us here on Beyond. Thank you.